Yo, what is going on guys, Jordan here, and this is another trading tip, which I will get straight into in a minute, but first off, I just want to mention my other trading tips episode, which is a cool bronze method, pretty effective, and um, if you haven't seen that already, go and check it out, I'll leave a link to that in the description, and also go and check out my trading series, Trading to the Big Money, which I am currently doing, it is going quite well, we'll be uploading a new episode of that tomorrow, hopefully, and I'll leave a link to that in the description as well, I'll appreciate it if you guys went and checked it out, and even left a like if you enjoyed it any of them episodes now let's get straight into the trading method and i like to call it the chess method which is an abbreviation for um catalyst hunter engine and shadow shadow that is a shadow now basically you're just going to go into your search leave your quality as any although you can specify it to a certain coin gold bronze silver whatever you want to put it as and i'm going to put my max price 102k which um just helps me you know single out the players that i can't afford and single out the players that i can't afford and you're just going to put it up to the max price, whatever you have. I'm going to put my 102k. Went a bit too far there. Here we go, 102k. And we're just going to basically search. That is pretty much it. You're just going to search. And you're going to look for players with open bids on them. Like a lot of methods. Just look for players with open bids because that is where the bargains are. So Bernard, would I... Um, we'll have a look at Bernard. So Bernard, we're going to check his... In the catalyst. Centre mid. He's been converted to a centre mid, actually. Um... I think he's been converted to a centimeter. So we're looking at centimeters. So centimeters, there are no, there's one centimeter for 8.3k, and there's another one for 8.3k. So you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bid on this guy. Hopefully, I add him to my transfer target. If I don't, I am gonna be very disappointed. Here we go. So Bernard, um, Bernard for 2.3k at the minute. You can also use Ultra Team Trading to check out his cheapest buy it now. How much he actually goes for, which I'm gonna use quite quickly. And um, so in the center attack and mid position, which is normal position, he goes for 2.1k. So he's been already been converted to two to a centimeter. So that improves his um his value already. And we're going to filter out his chemistry style on this website as well. I'm going to put in catalyst. And his cheapest in the catalyst is actually um well, his cheapest in the centimeter is 8.3k. So you know what, guys? I'm going to bid on this guy, and I'm going to just explain to you guys why this method is effective. So while we're bidding on this guy, I just want to tell you guys that. This method is effective because a lot of people who bid on players tend to stick towards the cheapest buy it now for those players um, in their basic form. So without any chemistry styles on, um, people tend to stick for like bidding um, around their cheapest buy it now without a chemistry, uh, chemistry style on. So like, say I was bidding on a player who goes for 4.5k cheapest buy it now without any game chemistry styles on him, then I would stick to around 4k if I want to get him for a decent amount. But... People don't realise that players who have cards on them, like Catalyst and Shadow especially, their price goes up for like between like two to five K and people just tend to stick to around what the basic cheapest buy now is and so once they get to a certain amount they will just stop on his cheapest on they will just stop and that'll just allow you to just put a bid in and hopefully win. Hopefully, hopefully win or not get contended as much to win the player. And as you can see this player is rising up but that is purely because he's been converted and also he has catalyst on and people probably realize that his cheapest in the catalyst in the center mid is 8.3k so i'm going to put one more bid on them there and i'm just going to explain a bit more why this method is effective so like i said people tend to just let you bid on them without realizing the actual value of um, the chemistry cards because at the minute chemistry cards like catalyst are going for around 8k i mean 5k sorry shadow for like 4k and i'm not quite sure on hunter and engine but they are going for quite a bit as well so I'm probably going to pick this guy for 5.7k. No, I'm not. I'm going to get out bid. Boo hoo. But you know what? I'm going to leave him for that just because I don't really want to spend too much on him. Um, but that is pretty much why this method is so effective. Now I'm just going to do this scroll through again, explain a bit of the bad side of this method. Um, you might have to wait a while to actually find a decent um, find a decent bargain. But you shouldn't be waiting too long. I mean, like Muriel, he's got. I'm pretty sure he goes for quite a bit. Like, well, not quite a bit, but, you know, enough to make a profit on him. I'm just going to check on his cheapest in the catalyst. 2.9k, 2.9k. Here we go, 2.9k. He's going for 1.5k, so we'll keep an eye on him. So, as I was saying, the bad things about this method is you do have to wait sometimes a while. You also, um, you must also be constantly checking the cheapest buying off that specific player with his specific chemistry card on him. So... I don't know, although Catalyst cards, for example, go for 5k, some people do tend to put them up for only like the 2.2 to 3k more than their basic, the cheapest buy now. 
which can be a bit annoying in terms of making profit, but you just got to stick to that, and then that will hopefully, you know, you hopefully be thinking how much you actually want to bid on the certain player to make the most amount of profit. Now, also, you know, some people, some people do tend to undercut you a lot with catalyst and stuff like that, so you might have a bit of trouble selling them on. Um, but eventually, I'm, I'm, it does happen to me quite a lot. But eventually, you will sell them on for the amount you want, or maybe just a bit under. <coughs> Sorry about that. But also, if you have the only cards on that um, on the market with that specific currency card on for that specific player in that specific position, then you have complete control of what price you can put them up for. So, say example, say I picked up a player for three k, and he has he's the only catalyst, um, only player with the catalyst chemistry card on him and I'm the only one who has him then if you um think about the catalyst and it's worth it's worth about 5k I'm gonna quickly put a bit on for this guy actually so he's worth about it's worth about 5k so say you picked him up for 3k it's cheapest buying now is 4k without any chemistry styles on him then you could put him up for around um let's say about seven to nine k if you really wanted to and you could make quite a lot of money because no one else no one else has got another exact same card as you so no one could there's no one to compete with and therefore you can maximize your profits but you know sometimes you don't always sell it just purely depends on the player you know if it's a really popular player who you think you can sell on pretty easily with that specific uh, chemistry card on them then you know you're making a lot of profit and you've picked them up really cheap and that is pretty much guys why this method works Um, i've been using it the past two days and um, i've been struggling to find bargains and i've just I've just found this method and I've just been finding that it works a lot. Um, sometimes you don't sell your players straight away. But honestly, guys, I think that this method is really good. And I'm going to keep using it and hopefully making a lot of money. Now, I would suggest you trade with those in the Barclays Premier League. Maybe the other leagues like Bundesliga, etc. And Kendrick Styles like Shadow and Catalyst will be best on like left wingers and right wings, etc. etc. Now, hopefully I've explained to you guys why this method works. And hopefully that example was good enough. Um, I'll quickly show you some of the players that I've picked up I'm hoping to sell on for just to show you guys it does work. So I picked up this shuttle for 19k hope, and it's cheapest buy now is like 25k so I'm going to put them off for 20 point, 24.5k. Also I picked up this Cavani, picked them up for 14k hoping to sell on for 17 and this Murio you just watched me pick up. Um, I also did it with some silver players I'm struggling to sell a few of these but hopefully I will sell them on as well. So that's pretty much it guys. Sorry if I was a bit complicated in explaining it. Hopefully it was simple. I was just Maybe it might be a bit complicated on understanding why this method isn't is so effective. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm sorry if I mumbled a bit. It's just a bit hard to commentate over something while you're doing it and explaining, you know, in depth why it works, etc. But I hope this helped. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And if we can get five likes for this video, maybe even ten. If we come on, we can push ten. Then I'll upload another trading tips tomorrow. Probably some informed trading or hopefully some other method which I'll find out. <coughs> But like I said, it is very possible if you, you know, think ahead and you manage to pick up some good deals. Um, let me know Let me know in the comments how you do with this method. Is it profitable? Is it worth it? Does it work? Etc. And that is going to be it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the method. Hope it works out for you guys. And peace.